What's up everybody, this is RTM Program Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of a good music program called Virtual DJ. Now to acquire this program, because it's not a very well known program, but it's very, very, very powerful, you just basically search Virtual, virtual DJ, Virtual DJ. Um, and it'll just be the first one, Virtual DJ Software. It's free for the full version. There is um, a pro version that it's actually right here it's 299 bucks um, for electronic delivery post delivery 329 but you just want to download the free version which is easily just as good um, just download it right here I'm not gonna do it because I already have it so it's available for Mac and PC so once you have that download installed open it up <sighs> programs um, find it and it should be right here, Virtual DJ. Um, I'm just going to be showing you a few basics. I'm not going to actually make any music because in the process of making music with this, you actually have to use other songs. And I don't want to get copyrighted or anything like that, so I'm not going to post any music in here. Well, actually, I might show you a little bit around um, some of the music I've made. Um, let's find it, Rusty Spoons. Um, my intro song, well my old intro song, I just got a new one. Me and my friends actually made this with real instruments. You guys can probably hear it right now. Yeah, well that song, um, me and my friends actually made that and with real instruments. But here's an example of a song like you can make with Virtual DJ. My friend Brandon Walkthroughs, he's actually getting a new channel up right now. Or around soon then I'll post a link to that channel um, and uh, I won't he's subscribed to me if you want to look at his Brandon walkthrough channel I went he doesn't have any videos on it right now but he makes he makes good content with virtual DJ and he actually made my new intro song here's a little preview of it it'll probably actually be in the beginning of the song now here the layout of it is there's two main turntables that you can scratch with actually using your mouse to get the good good sounds then there's effects which there's a bunch of good effects beat grind is the most useful because it kind of gives that DJ feel to it like listen if you could actually put it together good that would actually sound good but um that's what that's for and over here you have the sampler which is also both on sides you could it comes with some basic royalty free samples or with a sampler board you can actually record your own samples which is very useful there's the effects so you can mess around with the effects and stuff get them how you like them then there's obviously the crossfader which is very very important to DJing um, this keeps the volume you can change where the volume's coming from you can add, here's the volume keys for changing the master volume of both sides here's the actual master volume of the entire board very important um, here's the gain of both sides, the highs, the mids, and the lows. The gain's just kind of like, if you know what gain is, if you understand music, you'd understand what gain is. But highs, mids, and lows, easier to explain. The highs, mids, and lows of the song, you can turn them up and down of that of the Pacific song in each deck. Now the hot cues is where you find a point in the song and hit hot cue, and then like say you're somewhere else in the song, you can just hit the hot cue button and it'll go right to there. Now you can record with this. You hit config first. Now you um, pick a destination in the file size, the format, which you always basically want MP3, because WAV, which is Windows Audio something, um, doesn't ever really come out good. So just stick to MP3, unless your computer is like dumb. But you actually might need a codec for that. I'm not sure. You might. I, I've had this program for a while, so I, when I originally got it, I don't remember if I actually downloaded a codec or not. Now here's the browser. This is really useful. You can just go through all the files in your computer and find a song. And then once you have the song, as you saw me do earlier, you just drag them up and drop them into these. And then you can just start messing around. Here's um, oh, there's actually a loop feature. I mean, you do over here. You find this first spot, hit in, and hit out. Now that will constantly play that loop, and you can extend or shorten the loop, and you can also move it around up here. This is, like a, this is like a quick way to get the parts of the song, but it makes that really annoying noise. And that will get recorded. 
and so all that, if you're actually recording a song, that will get recorded. Now the pitch can actually change the pitch of the vocals or the music in general. So you can actually mess around with that. And then the filter will actually change the filter here, like how deep or low you want it. Then the shift will, hold on a second, let me mess with it a little bit, oh, I'm on the wrong side. Mess with the shift. That'll get it more exact to the point you want it. It's like to move it around a little bit, like, see, it's to get it exactly where you want it, right on a certain point. So it's actually a pretty useful tool. And there's the volume of samples. I know I'm just kind of flipping around, but I'm just like eyeing down this program, showing you all the things. Now, say you want to change the setup of the actual program, you go to config, and then here's all the basic setups. Here's your sound setup, which is just like how you're how you're actually using what you're actually using. See, it's just simple, no headphones, but you can just basically figure out what you're going to be using. Um, then you got skins. You can pick the number of skin, like the skin you want. I actually use the uh, what is it called? The two deck system. Um, I don't use that one. I use the wider one. Where's my? Oh crap! Great. Now I lost my skin. Oh, that's the skin I use. But there's a bunch of different skins on here. They're pretty cool. And you can also change the language if you need a different language. So there's a mapper to get hotkeys, like the mouse with your hotkeys, which is also very useful. So you can use your keyboard a lot if you actually want to use this for professional. There's video because you can import videos into this, and there's just some other special stuff. Here's the codec thing I was talking about. You that for like all the codecs for um, actually like decoding and recoding things. Um, hold on a second. Let me just pause the video for a second. Actually, I didn't pause. Did I? No, I didn't. Just wanted to check the time real quick. Oh okay, yeah, well you, you guys just saw me check the time and totally stumble over everything I was saying. Um, there's not much more to this program. It's really all creativeness, like how creative you're gonna be. Like this, it's a pretty easy to use. Like it's pretty easy to use, especially for a DJ program, and it's free, which makes it even better. But it really does get taken some getting used to. And whatever, remember whatever songs you're using to mix songs. Uh, make sure you don't mess with copyright. Because it is really easy to get copyrighted with this program, so don't try to like release something and make money off it if you didn't use your original content in it. Because this is more just for mixing. This isn't for really for producing original content. Because there's no really like generators for sounds. It's all just mixing. Unless you really mix it up so it's almost Ill ineligible. Don't try to like produce anything with this program because you can get copyright. So just be careful about that. I really don't know what PFL does. I'll probably figure it out eventually. Once, oh, it just selects the deck, I guess. I don't know. I just never used it. Oh, well, I guess that's kind of useful. <laughs> Up here, you have your CPU usage, which might be very high right now because I'm recording this. But this is just to see how fast your program is going to be running when you're actually using this. Up here, you got a time of how long you've been in the program. And the, ti the actual time. Well, actually, it's time in military or standard. I'll just keep it in standard. I don't know why it wasn't. Up here, you can go to all your cues. Again, here you get your beats per minute, which is just kind of useless right now because we're not doing anything. Um, I think I've gone over everything, haven't I? Oh, uh, let me just look quick here to see if there's anything I haven't gone over. Um, I don't really think there's anything I haven't gone over, but using all the effects and all the things I just showed you guys, um, you can basically put uh, some really creative stuff. Uh, I've actually made a lot of songs in this before. My friends have made a lot of songs in this for my new intro song that was probably debuted in this video actually. It was made by my friend Brandon, who, as I said earlier in the video, I'd be posting links to his channel. Um, he actually made an intro song using this program, which sounds real great, and I'm really happy about that. Um, so that's basically about it for this program. I mean, I'll be posting some more tutorials and stuff. If you guys actually want to see me make a song or something, I'll post a video on me making a song. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you.